What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to animate doors um, using the Horror FPS Kit by Thunderwire Studios. You guys can get that in the asset store. Um, really great asset. And uh, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to program your door so that we can open and close them. Um, I try to keep this short, um, short as I can, without you know going too scarce into detail. I kind of want to show you guys a step by step, but I don't want to make this super long. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, first thing you want to do, obviously, is select your door, and uh, we're going to create some animations here. So we need to create a open animation and a close animation, obviously. Um, if you don't see your animation uh, inspector tab here, uh, just go to Window, Animation, Animation, uh, shortcut is Control-6, and that'll bring this window up. So let's create some animations. Um, I, try to I try to keep them as organized as I can. Um, I do have a folder called door anims. Um, that's usually where I keep all my door animations so let's use that one. I'm just gonna call this tutorial open. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Um, just remember what you call it because you will need to uh, use this name over in the inspector later. Uh, but for now let's start animating. So to uh, animate the open, um, let me actually stop this because I want I want the door to start off closed obviously so that we can open it. Uh, so let's hit record. And in order to set the first keyframe, we need to just rotate the door. Uh, you can type whatever you want in there. Doesn't matter. Four billion, whatever. Uh, that just sets the keyframe. So put that back to zero. And now our door will start off at zero. Um, personally, I like to make the four, first four keyframes um, the same. I just think it looks a little smoother when it opens and closes. Um, it's basically preference. You can do it however you want. Um, and I did find that uh, when using the open door close sounds that come with the asset, uh, they tend to work best when the animation is half a second long, uh, which you'll see when I'm done. Uh, you can use your own uh, sound effects, just make sure you, can, you time it with your animation. Um, so that just takes some messing around, but the ones that come with the asset generally work best when you finish the animation at half a second. So that's it. Uh, door open just like that super simple literally three keyframes that you need to set and or basically two actually and uh, door is opening alright now to do the close animation same thing we're gonna go here create a new clip call this uh, tutorial close I like to kinda call them the same thing that way I can uh, more easily remember <laughs> where I put them Alright, so uh, let's first thing you want to do is set the door to where the open animation finishes. Uh, mine finished at negative 90 degrees. Um, not 90, because 90 will be out here. I want the door to open outwards, not inwards, so that will won't bump into you. So we're going to go negative 90, hit record, and same thing to set your first keyframe. Just literally delete that, type in whatever, or just delete it and type in your original uh, number back in there. Um, same thing, we're going to go to the fourth keyframe, delete that, negative 90, that sets another keyframe, go up to half a second and put it to zero. And that is it. That is our door closing. And you can see that over here in the uh, game display. Alright, so let's reset that. Uh, one thing, well actually yes, two things to note that are really important. Uh, make sure static is unchecked. If static is checked, uh, your animation will not play um, in your game. So you want to make sure that static is unchecked and for doors the layer needs to be uh, interact or else we can't open it. Alright, so there's a couple things we need to add um, to this. Let's put this door back at zero. Since we're not animating we can put it back to wherever we want it. Uh, once we press play it'll start that animation. So let's keep it at zero. Alright, so we gotta add uh, three things here. First one is we need to add the actual animations. Um, don't want them to play automatically, we want them to play when we uh, interact with the door. So we're gonna add both our animations here. So now we gotta go find them. So let's type in uh, tutorial door. I did this previously, so I have a few of them. Uh, tutorial open, I think is what I call Yeah, tutorial open. Alright, so tutorial open is going to go there. I'm not sure the m 
order really matters that much. I just generally like to keep my open one first. And this is tutorial close. Perfect. So let's put that here. Um, I don't think you have to put anything in this. I just generally like keeping my open animation there um, just to be safe. I'm not sure if it matters. Uh, I'll mess with that later. All right, so the animations are added. Uh, next thing we need to add is the dynamic object script. This will actually allow the door to open and close when we interact with it. Uh, so you can see our type is a drawer. Uh, sorry, drawer. Door. Uh, the use type is normal. We don't want the door to be locked um, or jammed, although we could do that, but then there'd be no point for animations, right? And the interact type is animation. Obviously, we want the uh, animations we just made to be what happens once we interact with this door. Alright, so uh, our animation object is the door itself. So let's drag door into there. Um, now, if you did not add this animation part to your door, you would not be able to drag that into here. So make sure you do that first. And now you're able to drag those. Um, door open anim is literally just the uh, animations we made. So tutorial open is what I called the open anim. And got to spell them right, also it won't work. Tutorial. <laughs> tutorial close is the close animation so make sure you spell those right uh, which I did my spelling is horrible so I'm glad I did that right alright so those are our animations and now we can add some sounds uh, since our door is not going to be locked um, and won't need a key we don't really need to add any sounds here um, you can if you want if you want to you know lock it later or something um, let's do door, let's find an open one. So door open, there's a bunch of them, they all sound a little bit different, so you can kind of just, you know, mess with them and see which one you like best. Uh, if you want to see what it sounds like, just click on it, it brings you over here and you can just, yeah, it sounds pretty good, we'll just keep it like that, I can always change it later. And we need a close sound, so door, close, I'll just do the first one again, let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that's alright. Like I said, you can just change it later if you want. Uh, oh yeah, last thing we need is the UI object info. Now this is what's going to bring up that press E to open, press E to close um, UI on your screen when your player is actually in proximity, uh, close enough proximity to actually open and close this door. Um, this you actually you don't have to mess with it, you can just leave it. Um, we like the open and close, that's perfect for a door. We don't want it to say, you know, anything else really. Because um, that's what you do with a door, you open and close it. Alright, so this should be good to go. Um, static is unchecked, layers interact. Let's uh, play this and see what happens. So, obviously this is not what we want. We don't want our door opening and closing uh, like that. Let's see, do we have any errors? Console errors. Okay, we got a console error. Animation cannot be played because it couldn't be found. Okay. Um, I've had this issue before uh, where it literally just skips this animation and it will go straight to this one. Um, because it can't find it for some reason. I'm not sure if it's an issue with this asset uh, or not. But uh, I got a lot of errors I gotta fix later. But um, let's try something here because I know sometimes if it's not legacy, uh, let's find our let's find our animation here. Uh, oh, we got this in the project. Alright, so we have tutorial open. Now if you go here in the inspector and hit debug, um, sometimes if it's not checked off as legacy, it it doesn't work. Let's try that. Okay. That was our issue. Alright, so... Well, okay, now tutorial <laughs> close can't be found. Okay. So let's go to tutorial close. And we'll go to uh, inspector debug, mark this as legacy, and let's try this one more time. Uh, don't mind that sound, that's uh, some other stuff that happens in the background. I just moved my character over here so I could test this door. Alright, so the door opens with our sound. And it closes, but there's no sound. Okay. 
but that's much better than uh, just opening automatically. Uh, I believe I know how to fix that no sound issue on the door close. Um, let's go back to our animation. Let's go to door close. And we want our sound to play right when the door shuts. So right at the end. So let's add an event. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna add an event and then we go over here and we click on door close event. And that should play our sound. I'm not sure why it works on the door open and doesn't work on door close and you have to do this extra step, but um, if for whatever reason your your door does not the door shutting sound does not play when your door close animation is playing. Um, again, just go to your animation, make sure it's on the close, click on add event and in the inspector door close event and that should fix it I think um, let's let's test it one more time okay so we can hear it opening yep okay it's working so open close open close and that's it guys hopefully that helped you um, you can do this for other doors I have another room where I animated all the stalls which didn't take too much time, but once you get the hang of it, you know, you can basically animate whatever door you want using this kit. So, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.